Hey folks, DevOps Rob here again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a bit of a big unboxing. Now Christmas, we're in the full swing of the season at the moment, whether you celebrate it or not, happy holidays. Um, I have received some gifts myself, so I am doing a mass unboxing. Let's just get into it. We have a microphone. Uh, this one was a gift from myself to myself. Um, you know, I've worked really hard and figured I'd treat myself to a new mic. Uh, so I have the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone, which at the moment I'm using a lapel mic here to record this audio hooked up to a Tascam recorder, which is set over there. But yeah, I mean, this is a nice cute box. Uh, I've seen a few reviews about this. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. So we have this like outer sleeve here, the usual with the branding and all that kind of stuff here. And here we have a nice clean minimalistic kind of look, right? And it has a seal on it. So we'll just use our unboxing knife to rip open the seal. There we go. Right, so inside the box, we have what looks like a uh, windshield. We have the microphone itself. And we also have something I can actually stick onto my um, my microphone stand. So that's pretty cool. So that will actually hold the microphone here. So this is the windshield that you get with it. It's a bit quashed up because it's inside the box. We have a USB cable as well. And this is the actual microphone itself. So if you just take this out of the packaging and it's a nice weight, really nice weight, nice size as well. Um, Looks like you can plug in the USB to the bottom as well, as well as you've got your usual XLR connections. We've got a couple of buttons here, which I haven't figured out exactly what they're for. I will figure them out. So you can expect a full review on this microphone here. Uh, I'm guessing that I'm going to be recording all my future videos with this microphone. So um, watch this space. So there we have it. That's the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone. So the next item is something that came as a gift from my wife. Um, so let's just get to it. And she has gifted me the camera for the PlayStation 5. Um, so anyone that subscribed to my channel probably saw the live stream unboxing of the PS5. This is the companion camera that goes with that. So let's just get straight into it. Seals these days are getting a lot harder to take off. It's making me rip the box. comes in as usual, typical PlayStation style, comes with an outer box and you have the inner box which actually holds the actual thing itself, right? So here we have some instructions, I'm guessing. Yep, instruction manual. We have the camera itself, which is a bit bigger than I thought. This is the camera here. And it looks like it's a dual camera. So it looks like it actually has two lenses on there. It's quite nice. Feels pretty decent quality. All oh, right, this is good. So the uh, the bottom kind of lifts up. So I guess I can hook that onto the TV. I wonder if it could sit on the table. Yeah, it can. So I can actually have it on the table just staring straight up to me if I did want to put it on top of my monitor. Um, so yeah, all in all, first impressions is this is nice. Again, you can expect a full review for this. When I start using it, I'll let you know what my thoughts are. So to go with this, my wife also bought me something that makes this a bit more worthwhile. And this is the Spider-Man game for the PS5. Um, I'm probably gonna be streaming the hell out of this, so I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so yeah, um, there's no point unboxing this, it's just the CD that's gonna go inside the uh, PlayStation 5. But yeah, that's kind of my wife's gift to me, so is the streaming camera and the game that I'm going to stream. So definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, see me play games really badly. The next thing we have is this device here, which is the Ledger Nano S. Now, 
The Ledger Nano S is a hardware crypto wallet. It's built for storing cryptocurrencies on there. So you've probably seen things in the news about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of the other cryptocurrencies that are out there. This hardware wallet is designed to keep any assets that you own off of the internet and actually offline on your person or wherever you deem safe. So quite a small package, you know, got a box and inside it's, uh, you just see the hardware wallet straight away. So that's pretty dope. It looks just like a uh, USB key. So, you know, we just open this up. And what else do we have inside this box? So we have, looks like a welcome pack. And inside that welcome pack, we have a getting started guide, recovery sheet. I don't even know what half these things are. So, um, you know, I'm gonna do a full video on this. Uh, so you can learn more about this as I learn more about it. Um, so that should be pretty cool. We also have the USB cable, which again, it plugs into the bottom of the device. And we have like a keyring kind of thing. Oh, and some kind of lanyard so you can hang it around your neck if you want. So kind of cool. So if you're into uh, cryptocurrencies or any kind of emerging technology along those lines there, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel because there'll be some content coming around this so that we can learn some more. And there you have it folks. There is the Ledger Nano S. Now the next one is something that I have quite a few of these in my house. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, I think my desk tour I mentioned this as well. I'll link that below. I live in a house which is predominantly powered by Google devices. Um, so here we have another Google device, which is the Nest Mini. I have plenty of Nest Minis around the house. Um, I'm not gonna unbox this one. And the reason why I'm not gonna unbox this is I've just this moment decided that I'm actually gonna give this away to one lucky subscriber. Um, I think I may even have a couple more which are brand new and unboxed lying around. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do is when I hit that thousand subscriber threshold, anyone who is subscribed to the channel enters into a competition. You stand a chance of winning a free Nest Mini. All right, so again, make sure you're subscribed. Tell your friends to subscribe. The quicker we get to 1,000, the quicker the giveaway can happen. All right, so um, we have the Nest Mini. So uh, yeah, I think I have two of these, uh, which I'll be giving out. Um, and between now and 1,000, we'll see what else pops up. Right, that leads me on to the final piece that we're going to unbox. And this is something that I've been tracking for a while. With the global pandemic, um, stocks have been in short supply. So I finally managed to get my hand on these and uh, I feel like I'm actually a YouTuber now. Like now I own one of these things. So what we have here is the audio engine A2 Plus wireless speakers. Now I've seen loads of YouTubers that I highly respect that own these speakers here. Just swiggle it around so you can see the box. And you know, I've been waiting for this for so long, I'm not even gonna talk too much about it. I'm just gonna just get straight into surgery and unbox this. Right, so it looks like this is just an outer box. It looks like there's another box inside, which is um, branded, I think. So just tip this upside down. So there we have it. So we went for the white speakers this time. Uh, they also do them in black, which you can see on the other side. Um, I was gonna go with black, you know, uh, like NKBHD always says, matte black everything, but my wife thought that white would look really good um, because it contrasts on our PlayStation a little bit. So hey ho. But let's open up this bad boy. So, whoa, straight away, just the packaging, the, the quality of what I'm seeing straight away, it just looks good. You have something, I don't know what these are, inside these bags with kind of gold tie ho ropes, hopes, can't get my words out. 
I don't know what these are. Let's let's find out. Just stick this to one side and let's find out. So we have, I mean, it smells really fresh as well. Ah, so we have, this is the power cables by the looks of it. Yeah, it's the power cable. So that's one. And what else do we have here? We have a USB cable. I'm not quite sure what that's for yet, but I guess we'll find out in time. Uh, and we have some speaker cables here. So I don't know exactly what this is called. I think they're called RCA cables or something like that. Um, and we have some 3.5 jack to jack cables. So that's nice and comes in this nice little bag so you can kind of keep these, uh, the ones that you're not using, uh, nice and neat in your drawer or wherever it is that you want to keep them. So that's one there. We have another bag just like that in here. And this is, ah, it's the power block. Ah, I see. So this power cable does not go directly into the speaker. It goes into this here power block. And then I'm guessing that this end will plug into the speaker, which is, I've never seen a power cable like this before. Uh, I don't know if this is proprietary to audio engine or it almost looks like a mini XLR. Um, this is, this is, this is really nice. This is really, really nice. The whole XLR kind of theme, oh, I, I absolutely am in love with this. Audio Engine have definitely paid attention to detail. Um, and I guess it's these small little things that kind of make the cost of the speaker all the more worth it, I think. That's cool. We'll just pop that again to the side. Right? Now, we will take out these foam pieces here. And oh, th this is lovely. This, whoo. I just want you to see inside the box before I pull it out. You can just see they've wrapped it up in the same kind of material, the same kind of bags that the, uh, I'm gonna call them the peripherals, um, AKA the cables are all in. Right? So that to me is super, super nice. So we have the instructions here uh, and some other documentation, uh, maybe some warranty information, a quick start guide. We'll pop that here to one side. And let's take out the first speaker. We'll come back for you. We haven't forgotten you. So we'll just loosen this, open up this bag. And inside this you have kind of like a uh, foam kind of wrapping. Oh, these are beautiful size. I was looking for something that was really small form factor for my desk. Um, and these are, whew, I am in love. Jeez. These are what we call pen. These are lovely. Look at this. Oh my days. This is beautiful. It's the gloss white. Oh, I'm in love. And we have all the connections at the back. So you have your volume, you have your different inputs and outputs as well, as well as the uh, USB input. Again, I don't quite know what that's for. We'll figure it out, you know? But yeah, this, this is absolutely beautiful, amazing. I'm really in love with this, you know? So we have one there, and then we'll grab the other one as well. Now I'm guessing because these are a pair, it might be a little bit different what we see on the rear of this speaker here. Um, so let's find out. <sighs> Folks, I can't tell you, I'm so happy. I'm sorry. This, I've been waiting months, months for this. And <sighs> it was all worth it, all worth it. Let's grab the unboxing there. These are like just sick. Cold man, oh my days. Right, so yeah, like I thought, it's, it's a bit more minimal. So you have, let's turn this one around. You have all the controls on one of the speakers and then you just have 
the, um, so I'm guessing you're gonna connect from uh, these two here to these two here, and that's what will pair the actual speakers, and then we'll, everything will be controlled from this speaker here. These are amazing. And they're gonna go beautifully on my desk. They're a beautiful size. I absolutely love the way that they look. And to go with these, I grabbed something else as well from Audio Engine. I grabbed this, right, which is the uh, stands that they sell for them. We just open these up. And so we have the stands here. I don't think these are as interesting as the speakers themselves, but they can make the speakers even more interesting than they actually are. So pop this up here for a second. These are made of like a plastic, it's almost like a, mm, actually it's kind of like silicone, right? So that's kind of nice. It will absorb like the vibrations from the speakers as well. So you're not gonna get a rattling desk. Um, let's see how that looks actually on the stand. And this is the nice thing. I can get it tilting upwards towards my ears, right? Well, I'm deaf in one ear, so towards my ear, I guess. Um, we have the first one, we'll just take out the second one as well. Yeah, these, these are, I, I can't stress to you how happy I am. These, these look beautiful, flawless. This is pure attention to detail when it comes to the design. Uh, I'm really happy with that. So full review coming, obviously. It's probably well reviewed on YouTube. However, that's other people's opinions. Uh, I'm gonna block all of that out and I'm gonna just with a clean slate, just listen to these and give my honest view on that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when my new videos come on. And one of them will be a full review of these bad boys here. And that wraps up our unboxing today. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, wishing you a very happy 2021. Hopefully the world is in a better place than it has been in 2020. All the best folks and catch you on the next one. Peace.